Hello wonderful person, you're observing two galaxies merging, specifically the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way. This is actually something that will happen in about 2.5 to possibly 4 million years from now, and today we're going to discuss what will happen if you actually placed an extremely large black hole in between these two galaxies and have them collide with each other. Welcome to What The Math. And so I actually wanted to explore a hypothetical scenario where you essentially have an extremely large supermassive black hole pass between two galaxies as they are colliding. This is something that actually may happen with some of the galaxies that are colliding, and I wanted to observe what kind of effect it would actually have on them. So here's what we're going to do to recreate this. First of all, let's actually talk about the galactic collision. And so to start all of this, we're going to uh, basically place these two galaxies together. So we have the Milky Way galaxy on the bottom here uh, with the central black hole that's about 4.3 million uh, masses of the sun somewhere in the middle. There it is. And the entire Milky Way is uh, around it. And then we have Andromeda galaxy that's about two and a half masses of the Milky Way with its own black hole in the middle. So right now these two galaxies are kind of just hovering above each other. They're slowly approaching each other, but not very fast. And uh, uh, in real life, it will take them just under 4 million years to actually collide. But let's see what happens if hypothetically a black hole, specifically a supermassive black hole, passes right between them. We're going to take um, one of the most massive black holes we've ever discovered. Um, I'm sure we'll discover something more massive eventually, but for now it's the record holder. Um, this is a black hole known as TON618. We're going to launch it right between them. And we're going to modify its mass a little bit so it's more accurate um, as it is in real life. So 66 billion masses of the Sun with an average radius of about 1300 astronomical units, which is equivalent to a typical star system. So basically uh, a very large star system. It's going to be moving at a speed of about 2 thousand, let's actually, no, we're going to change this a little bit, make it more realistic, 1,000 kilometers per second. This is so somewhat expected of a passing rogue object. And we're going to just wait for it to pass between these two galaxies. So let's accelerate time a little bit. And we're just going to watch it pass right between them. And we're going to have it move at a speed of about 2,000 kilometers per second, which is something you would expect from a rogue object coming from another galaxy. Now, these types of black holes are most likely created um, by an interaction with another supermassive black hole. Um, and normally this happens during the collision of two galaxies. So when Andromeda and the Milky Way collide, one of the black holes may actually be become something like this as well. It just won't be as massive. But it will be moving through space at a very, very high velocity. And uh, it, it could actually do this to some other galaxies somewhere else. So in other words, one of the supermassive black holes from either Andromeda or the Milky Way could become what's known as a rogue black hole and then cause a lot of trouble for other galaxies um, somewhere out there in the future. All right, so now what we're going to do is, so the black hole is right between them so, and you can see the game kind of slowed down a little bit because there's suddenly a lot of calculations going on um, a lot of mathematical calculations that are, involve a gra gravitational interaction between various objects. And as you can see, there's no collisions, there's absolutely no actual physical interaction, only gravitational interaction. And the black hole just kind of comes in and leaves. Let's see if this did anything to any of these galaxies. So we're going to run the simulation a little bit faster now. And look at that. Almost right away, you can see the Milky Way kind of gets sucked into the Andromeda galaxy. This is not from the gravitational attraction of Andromeda, this is actually because the black hole passed so close to it that it suddenly dislodged both of the galaxies. I actually made sure that none of the galaxies were moving before, and so this supermassive black hole was actually massive enough to cause this tremendous destruction of two galaxies. They literally passed through each other, as a matter of fact. Now, um, we, we have seen galaxies that seem to form very similar images to this. 
and uh, sometimes in a lot of those cases it's hard to explain what actually happened and how they collided with each other. And so a rogue supermassive black hole causing these interactions and causing these unusual shapes could be one of the possible explanations. And as you can see right now, both of the black holes are actually still out there, but the actual shape of the galaxy is completely different from what it used to be. It's somewhat S-shaped now, or actually kind of looks like number eight. That's, that's really cool. That's very, very unusual. But because the black holes no longer sort of control the uh, galaxies themselves, and because a lot of the star material kind of flew apart now, these two galaxies no longer look the same. Now, this is only a billion years later, but you can see that it, they created this unusual and very beautiful creation. Very, very different from what you'd expect. And the thing is, every time you run a simulation, the shape created is very different. So I do re recommend that you try this yourself as well. So this is kind of uh, the science behind supermassive black holes passing next to galaxies. They definitely just lodge a lot of material and they definitely influence a lot of things when they pass by uh, close to uh, various galaxies. And as you can see, our own supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A, is still right there, but it kind of still has a few stars around it. So it's not really a rogue object just yet. Uh, it has become a dwarf galaxy, a very, very small, very dim galaxy that has a supermassive black hole in the middle. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So now you, hopefully you'll learn a little bit more about space and black holes. And in the next video, we're going to explore something else you may have not known. Anyway, subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye bye.